Namaste, hello and welcome back to another video on eco-consciousness. I'm Ohna and today's video is going to be about one of the books which I've been recently reading for uh, one of uh, the readathons that was just completed, that was Hikathon Reads, which has been created and hosted by Macy from The Bright Side Girl. I'll leave a link to her announcement video and all other relevant videos in the description box below as well as in the overhead cards above. Now, um, the book which I read was The White Star of Twilight by Russell Sebring. Severing, I believe and um, I will be talking more about this book so do please join me further in this video story so uh, this is uh, this has so far been a four-star read for me and uh, I have been I have not yet completed this book I'm still reading this but uh, by the time you watch this video I would have completed it and this is somewhere around 3.5 to four star uh, so far and uh, I am absolutely loving it so the appropriateness of this story and the contents of the uh, plot uh, with regards to hikathon reads is absolutely perfect so the story has hiking in it it has um, mountain ranges in it it's got uh, i mean hiking and mountain ranges the perils which come with it it has also got um, the uh, uh, you know the native indians who are because it's set in the u.s obviously so it has got uh, the um, native indian viewpoints as well as native indian medicine as well as their belief system in it as well which was absolutely wonderful to read about and then um there is uh, the protagonist's father who is a game warden and therefore he is much into conservation as well as animal care and uh, wildlife welfare as well and then um there is this uh, there is our main protagonist Valeria who has just uh, who has to come and live with her father because her mother Rosa has recently expired and uh, she's passed away because of a deathly virus which invades her brain and she goes into coma and uh, she loses her life so um, initially uh, Valeria's father and Valeria's mother were divorced but then her, her rights the uh, because she is still um, an underage minor, so the rights now transfer, the parental rights transfer to her father automatically. So her father invites her and uh, wants her to stay with him. And um, uh, Valeria is absolutely excited about it. But then she's also curious because it's a whole new life uh, and she never knew much about her father. But then she starts um, uh, gelling with her father very well, especially on the uh, because of the fact that he is um, a gamekeeper as well as he's very close to wildlife, which is a very um uh, let's a deep-seated interest in valeria so um somehow valeria is separated from her father because she gets lost and uh, she is injured and um one day uh, when um valeria is with her father uh, and she's sitting on a pony and she doesn't know horse riding but then the pony abruptly takes off uh, taking valeria away deep into the heart of the mountains and uh, she um, is injured uh, when she falls off this pony and uh, she breaks her legs and she becomes unconscious it is also snowing very heavily because it's um, a snow covered uh, region and then she when she finally wakes up she's shivering but then there is um, she's in a strange wooden cabin which has an open door and um, her legs are somehow um, uh, kept together from injury so she uh, judges in her um, half conscious state that probably her legs are injured and uh, she has to somehow heal and then when she finally wakes up she finds that uh, she's in the under the care of a, a native American um, Indian um, person who is staying all alone in the uh, mountain pass and uh, he found Valeria unconscious he somehow grabbed her and uh, he was guided by Valeria's mother's spirit who has just recently passed away and uh, she, her spirit spoke to the wolf god of their um, belief system and uh, therefore the wolves will lead to her and um, there are three wolves along with this um, uh, three wild wolves along with this um, Native American whom she finds his name is Philip and um, he, these wolves uh, help Valeria I mean they were the ones who uh, found Valeria and led Philip to uh, Valeria's unconscious day I mean unconscious body and um, 
Philip was able to rescue somehow they managed to heal Valeria and uh, they try to ensure that uh, Valeria is um, in the view of the approaching helicopters or the rescue missions uh, which uh, pass by but then uh, there is an avalanche and um, they get lost and the story goes on from there and um, there's a lot which happens Valeria struggles she is also uh, she also finds she has to face the wild beast and the other packs of wild wolves she's also left with uh, uh, six wolf pups or six wolf cubs who are um, uh, part of the um, big white wolf who, who saves Valeria's uh, life when Philip is away and she's left alone and uh, she delivers she's shot by one of the uh, men but then um, who are uh, poaching over there but then uh, she um, delivers these six cubs and valeria is in charge of these six cubs and uh, they are um they trust valeria and valeria has to make uh, the journey to um getting the six cubs in civilization uh, making them grow uh, i mean uh, helping them to re uh, rewild back into their natural habitat so the entire family comes together the community comes together and uh, everything happens beautifully and so far i'm enjoying the story and um i will be uh, leaving my goodreads review very soon and i'll probably link it uh, in the description box below so should you like to know more about uh, what my thoughts and opinions uh, towards the end of the story are you can definitely cross check with that so um those were my few thoughts on this uh, wonderful book i would definitely recommend anybody who loves hiking who loves the hiking culture who loves mountains and who loves wolves especially to read this book because it was absolutely a fantastic read and i'll be trying to read more um about from more works of this author so um those were my thoughts and opinions about this book do let me know what you thought about them in the description i'm um, sorry in the comment section below i would love to hear from you so with that i'll be wrapping up this video i'll see you soon next week with another video so till then take care have a good reading week ahead and namaste Thank you.